Good evening and welcome to From the Newsroom. As many of you would have heard, the budget proposed that uh, mutual fund distributors can become members of stock exchanges and transact uh, on uh, listed mutual fund units. I'm Lisa Pallavi Barbara and I've got with me Kaizat Adajanya who's going to tell us what this means for distributors and uh, will it change anything for the mutual fund industry. Hi Kaizat, so uh, it seems that now mutual fund distributors can become members of stock exchanges but wasn't that already the case? How has it changed and what does it mean for distributors now? When the mutual fund platform was launched on stock exchanges, when it was launched in December 2009, at that time what used to be the case is that mutual fund distributors could become sub-brokers uh, of the main brokers who are there on the stock exchange. So, uh, you know, the brokers can buy and sell mutual funds and then you, if, you, if you want to buy mutual funds on uh, behalf of your clients, then you need to become sub-brokers. Uh, what that means is that there is a relationship to be established between the broker and the mutual fund distributor. As a result of which, the entire client base of the mutual fund distributor used to, give, used to get exposed to the, distro, uh, to, the, to the main broker. So, which was not acceptable to many distributors because they were saying that, you know, if the broker gets to know who our clients are, you know, they can basically steal our clients, they can get take away our clients with them and you know the confidentiality is lost so which is why you did not have too much too many distributors moving on to the exchange platform now what the case is that um, uh, you know exchange uh, both the BSE as well as the NSE will create uh, a different cadre of um, brokership uh, broker membership over there whereby um, you know distributors can directly be able to buy and sell mutual funds on the platforms without being sub brokers so the confidentiality is maintained so that's the big change that's come about in this arrangement so so far this hasn't been a very popular uh, platform so uh, will this uh, proposal actually change that and do you think that more trading will happen through this platform and how does this actually benefit investors Volumes would definitely go up because uh, uh, you know we're expecting more and more distributors now to warm up to the stock exchange platform. But you know the effect it may not have a cascading effect. You may not have so many distributors moving about to the stock exchange platform because still you know you need to have a DMAT account and uh, you know there are charges involved to opening a DMAT account to maintaining a DMAT account. So uh, and we'll have to wait and watch basically. And plus of course you know there is a question of how much fees do uh, distributors have to pay to get to that membership. You know, uh, what we are hearing from the exchanges as well as uh, mutual fund industry is that obviously for a distributor, uh, this kind of a relationship, the distributor becoming, um, you know, a member on this platform, fees would be much lesser than what the brokers uh, are paying right now. So definitely fees will be much lesser, but uh, we'll have to wait and watch what the final conditions are for distributors to become. Yes, we'll have quite a few distributors moving, but we won't have, um, you know, a large number of distributors moving to the stock exchange platform. And uh, what was your second question, you said? How will it benefit the investors? Um, benefit, it will, it will benefit the investors obviously because, you know, um, you know, if the investor is investing in stocks also, uh, now he will invest in mutual funds to stock exchanges. And so, you know, what happens is that everything, all his holdings will be consolidated and it will come uh, in one account statement. All, it, all the holdings of that investor would come into the same DMAT account. So there's convenience and less paperwork. And thirdly is that, you know, when you want to buy a mutual fund, you can just pick up a phone, call your distributor, ask him to buy a mutual fund, and the mutual fund comes into your DMAT account. As against, let's say, in traditional way of, you know, buying mutual funds, like you have to fill up a form and give a check or whatever, bank mandate. This is much easier. So there you go, it's not entirely a new platform, but maybe the new structure will actually attract more distributors and investors to this platform. Let's wait and watch how this pans out. That's all from this show. Thank you for joining us.